Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. Important historical events for April 9th. In the year 193 AD, Septimius Severus Augustus seized power of the Roman Empire after Emperor Pertinax died. Under his rule, all of Mesopotamia was conquered and most of England. The Roman Empire was the largest it would ever be as he ruled from 193 AD to 211 AD. In 1483, Edward V, aged 12, succeeds his father Edward IV as King of England. He is never crowned and disappears, presumed murder, after incarceration in the Tower of London with his younger brother, Richard. Was he murdered? The world may never know. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you. Now back to the commentary. In 1609, Spain and the Netherlands signed a 12-year truce. It ended hostility between the Spanish monarchy and the Dutch Republic. During this time, both empires focused on their internal problems and took a break from the Eighty Years' War. The Eighty Years' War signified a revolt of 17 provinces against Philip II of Spain. In 1731, British mariner Robert Jenkins' ear was cut off by Spanish Guardacosta in the Caribbean. It later became a catalyst for war between Britain and Spain. Robert Jenkins was a master mariner who was returning from a trading voyage. He commanded the HMS Rebecca, and on this day the Spanish privateer ship La Isabela stopped him for suspicion of smuggling. The commander, Juan de Leon Frandinho, tied Jenkins to the mast and sliced off his left ear and told him to tell his king that the same would befall him should he be caught. After Jenkins reported this incident, eight years went by with the British king, George II, requesting a response from Spain. With no reply after eight years, the British made a formal declaration of war against Spain in 1739. In 1768, John Hancock refused to allow two British customs agents to go below deck of his ship. It is considered by some to be the first act of physical resistance to British authority in the colonies. In 1772, Jean-Baptiste Leron de Alembert became permanent secretary of the French Academy of Sciences. Famous for being a mathematician, mechanician, physicist, philosopher, and music theorist, and co-editing the Encyclopédie, this work represented the work and thought of the Enlightenment as the purpose of it was to help change the way people thought as it meant to inform the general public. On April 9th, 1784, the American Revolutionary War ended officially when the British ratified the documents from the Treaty of Paris. In 1865, Confederate General Robert E. Lee and 26,765 troops surrendered at the Apotomax Courthouse to the U.S. Lieutenant General Ulysses S. Grant, ending the Civil War in North Virginia. In 2003, Baghdad fell to the U.S. forces, ending the invasion of Iraq, but resulting in widespread looting. With the fall of this government, the U.S. instilled their own form of government and forced everyone else to fall in line. The secondary effects, both unexpected and expected, was the rise of martyrdom of vilified forces and the rise of various terrorist subfactions in the Middle East that saw the United States as a warmongering oil tycoon coming to just take resources and disrupting governments in the area. Although this battle was won, the US would occupy the area for decades to come and as of today still has military presence all throughout the Middle East. Fun facts for April 9th. In 1894, Anton Bruckner had his first performance of his fifth symphony in B major. Anton Bruckner was a composer. In 1976, All the President's Men, directed by Alan J. Pakula, based on the novel by Carl Bernstein and Bob Woodward, detailing their Watergate investigation starring Dustin Hoffman and Robert Redford, was released. In 2012, The Lion King became the highest grossing Broadway show after overtaking the Phantom of the Opera. Fun sports facts for April 9th. In 1959, the 13th NBA Championship was held. 
The Boston Celtics sweep Minnesota Lakers in four games. It's the first of the Boston Celtics' record eight straight titles. Famous birthdays for April 9th. Isambard Kingdom Brunel was born in 1806. He is an important figure of the Industrial Revolution in Britain. He is responsible for the design of bridges, viaducts, and railway stations. Brunel had three famous ships called the Great Western, which was the first steamship to do a transatlantic voyage, the Great Britain, which was the world's first iron-hulled passenger liner, and the Great Eastern that laid the transatlantic cable. Eric Ludendorff was born in 1865. He was a leader during World War for German war efforts. He was a nationalist leader after the end of the war. He denounced Adolf Hitler and the views that he had and after Hitler seized power in 1933. In 1977, Gerard Way was born. He is the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. He is also an artist that created the comic book titled The Umbrella Academy. Thank you, Gerard, for the Black Parade and your artistic endeavors. What will you make next? Kristen Stewart was born in 1990. She gained her fame from playing the leading role in the Twilight series films. She acted as a child in the film Panic Room as well. Happy birthday, Kristen, and here's to more films in your acting career. Montero Lamar Hill was born in 1999. These days, he's better known as Lil Nas X. He started his music career in 2018 with his hit Old Town Road. He is controversial for being the first openly LGBTQ person to have won a country music award. Happy birthday, Montero. What other songs will you make? Famous passings for April 9th. In 585 BC, Emperor Jimu Tenno. Per the legend, he is recorded in history to have been the first emperor of Japan, ruling from 660 BC to 585 BC. He founded the Japanese imperial dynasty, living to the age of 126. Francis Bacon passed in 1626, but not without contributing to the scientific revolution. He has been attributed and called the father of empiricism. He strongly argued that scientific knowledge can only be based upon inductive reasoning and through careful observation of events that occur in nature. In 1804, Jacques Necker passed. He served as the finance minister for King Louis XVI in France. He made a bold move and exposed the country's budget to the public in 1781. They had been keeping it a secret for good reason. Soon after, in 1788, the national debt caused a fiscal crisis in France. Necker was dismissed in 1789, and when this happened, it caused the chain of events that led to the storming of the Bastille and eventually the French Revolution. Imagine what would happen in today's age where information is available everywhere. Imagine if someone would leak information to the world that others were trying to hide. What would happen? This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.